Hi, in today's two minute takeaway, I want to talk about Black Friday. No, not really, but how we can uh, stop ourselves spending when we really shouldn't be. I'm Hilary O'Dwyer, founder of Tish and Consulting, your virtual CFO. So I think my favorite tip for people and for myself is just taking the cash out of your line of sight so you don't spend it. And I think with Black Friday coming up this week, we can all get carried away with seeing what the deals are and just ha giving it a go and spending like a crazy person. But putting that to one side at a personal level and hopefully not for a business level, um, the biggest the biggest thing I say to my clients, and it's the simplest thing, but it's often so the most effective, is that we just simply have a couple of bank accounts going on in our business and we take out the money that isn't ours straight away and we pop it into our ATO account. So when we get paid by a client or a customer, we divide that amount by 11, throw that into the savings account and that's part of that you're on your way to your GST being paid when it's due. When we pay employees and that includes ourselves, we take out the PAYG that belongs to the employees, not to us, and we put that into the savings account. And it's important to remember that these amounts aren't part of your working capital. They're simply part, they're simply part of the expense of what you're paying for for in this example for the um, employee costs. So you throw you lash that money into the ATO account that's your bass that's your bass um debt building up nicely so when it becomes due it can be paid the other thing i do as well is i have another little bank account for savings and again i just take out a few if there's spare money lying around i take that out and put that into the savings account and that's me building my buffer for future expenses if there's going to be a lean month and that apply and that applies to everybody ideally businesses would want to have somewhere between three to six months worth of expenses in cash that they can cover but that's that's a bit of a luxury and it's more of a luxury these days with what everyone's gone through over the past couple of years if you haven't been trading to to the best of your ability so very very simple very straightforward but very effective just different bank accounts because if you don't see it you won't spend it